Now, as you know, I am sitting right smack dab in the middle of Southern California. I know you're well aware of that. Right in the heart of Car Flag Nation. And I'm also well aware of the fact that on the way in this morning, I did not see a single car flag. Not one. Not one flying anywhere in the middle of Car Flag Nation. But not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not one. None. Believe it or not, I am going to resist the urge to do exactly what everybody else is going to do and make today all about Car Flag Nation, all about the L.A. Lakers, all about Legeriatric and his alleged, supposed retirement considerations. You see, around here, losers don't lead. Don't misconstrue that. I'm not calling him or them losers. I'm saying they lost. There is a distinction to be made. I am not leading the show with the team or the guy who just got swept out of the Western Conference Finals. Why would I do that? Even if said losers... And they're not losers per se. They're losers of the series. And again, they were swept. Even if they're desperate for attention, I'm not doing that. Not here. Around here, if you get your ass swept out of the playoffs, it's not about you. If you can't put together four solid quarters in any single game in an entire conference final series, then it's about the other guy. It's about the other team. I'll get to you, but I'm not going to start with you. Today is not about the Lakers. Today is about the team that kicked the Brick Show's ass four times in a row, a.k.a. the first time Western Conference champion, Denver Nuggets. Mile high country. It finally happened. Mile high country. If you want to go full double rainbow guy this morning, you go right ahead. In fact, I'd be shocked if you didn't. In fact, if you don't, why aren't you? If not now, then when? It's not like you haven't had to wait nearly 50 years for this. Yes, you have. The rest of you have to understand, the Nuggets have been waiting 46 long seasons for this moment. The franchise has played more than 4,000 games in their history, but not even one of those games have been in the NBA Finals. But the next one will be, in what feels like a month from now, but it will be. So no, I'm not going to lead with the Lakers nonsense. And yeah, they put together a nice year given how they started. I'll give them that. And we'll get into all that. But I'm not going to lead with that, nor am I going to lead with this nonsense about, oh, oh, wow, LeBron might retire. You hear what he said? And maybe he will, maybe he won't. I really don't give a damn. Honestly, I don't. I don't. Give the team the shine that deserves it. The team that went right through L.A. The team that swept L.A. The team that's in the NBA Finals. Nuggets fan, this is the moment you have been waiting for your entire lives. Some of you, longer than that. 46 years. They've never been to the NBA Finals until now. Oh my God. They swept the Lakers. Indeed. Oh, my God. They swept the Lakers. And you know what? It really wasn't that hard either. I mean, it was competitive, but it really wasn't that hard. In fact, they made it look pretty easy. I mean, yes, Denver did dig dig themselves a 15-point hole last night, but no problem digging out of it. They just casually erased the whole thing with that massive 36-16 third quarter. And then when it came to crunch time, And I've got a lot more thoughts on this big dude. But when it came to crunch time, they turned to their superstar, their two-time MVP. A dude who is on one of the scariest and most incredible playoff runs in the history of the association. To say this dude's on one would be a gross understatement. This dude is flat out the best player on the planet right now. 
Nikola Jokic once again put up a triple-double last night. 30 points, 14 boards, 13 dimes. This dude is a walking triple-double. He averaged a triple-double for the series. He passed Wilt the Stilt for most triple-doubles in an individual playoffs. And the thing about Jokic is... It's not about stat padding. There are so many bad takes about this guy. So much lava. So much bull crap. So many people trying to get other people to look at them in slandering this guy. I mean, it's not about that. How do you miss it? How do you miss what this guy's about? It's not about stat padding. It's about soul snatching. Case in point. The last two buckets of that series were also the last two Denver buckets of that series. You see me working. Clutch. I'll get to that, too. That whole rap that, yeah, well, he's not clutch. The hell he's not. First, this miraculous step-back three that shut up every single Laker honk in the crib last night. Probably even shut up VD in the fee. No, it was not. This whole thing about Jokic has to put it up. He doesn't have to do anything. He does whatever the hell he wants. Jokic gets to put it up from wherever. I mean, did you hear the sound that place made after that shot? It was more like a collective groan. Actually, that wouldn't even do it justice. It was more than a collective groan. It sounded like Jokic personally went into the stands and then proceeded to deliver a kick in the stick to every single person in attendance. That's what it sounded like. And initially, it did look like he was on the line, but of course, he wasn't. Of course, it was a tray. And of course, when Denver needed another tough bucket, two minutes later, Jokic just went full bully ball in the post and got his game-winning bucket. Game over, series over, thanks for coming. Welcome to the NBA Finals, Denver Nuggets. You did it! You did, did it. it! You did it! And welcome to the NBA Finals to the clearly best player in the world. Listen, I did push hard and I did stump for Joel Embiid to win the MVP. I stand by that. I'm not going to take that back. It's a regular season award and there's a good reason why he won that easily. He, he was the right choice. He was the right choice at that time. But that's not going to stop me from saying right now that Jokic is the best player on the planet. I'll say that over and over again because he is. And it's not even close, honestly, at this point. Denver fan, you can stop worrying about the stupid regular season award because even Jokic himself has already moved way beyond that. I absolutely love this guy. He's right. For those of you dogging Joel Embiid, you're just, quote, mean. You're being mean. Stop being so mean. It's just mean to pile on that guy at this point. And again, the regular season MVP is not what Jokic is hunting at this point. He's already got a couple of those. This dude's not about awards, I don't think, in general. But the hardware that he really wants, the hardware that he really is hunting right now, is the Larry O. You know, the one that matters. The one that matters most. That's what matters now. The Larry O in finishing the job. And now they're four wins away. Jokic does not care about the regular season MVP. He certainly does not care about the MVP of the Western Conference Finals. He made that very clear after he ripped the MVP of the Western Conference Finals. He also made it clear that that doesn't matter either. First part of the answer is hilarious. Pretty incredible, actually. But the rest of the answer is so much better. I can promise you this much. You're never going to hear the words, quote, they put me in this situation. I am just first among equals. Coming out of the geriatrics mouth ever. But in fairness to LaCap, that old man played one hell of a game, didn't he? I mean, he came out with a purpose, a sense of urgency. He was not about to let them get swept. He's just beat up. He's gassed out, but he brought it. He brought it. At least he showed up to play and left everything he had out there. Unlike Anthony every other day, this. Who put up one of the more invisible, one of the more useless 21 and 14 games I've ever seen? 
I mean, it just makes no sense that that dude cannot string together a couple of decent games in a row. But it's also no surprise for Anthony every other day, this. And the fact of the matter is, even if AD had managed to play two good games in a row, it wouldn't have mattered. L.A. would have still been completely overmatched in this series. And again, I'm going to give them credit. They bounced back. They got off the mat. They made their run. But the fact of the matter is, the Nuggets are just better. The Nuggets are much better. The Nuggets outclassed them in every way, which is why it really doesn't matter if Anthony every other day this was more consistent. And it's not about the Lakers. It's not about how hard they and others are trying to make it about them. And believe me, everybody's trying to make it about them. I'm looking at all the hot take factories, all the talking heads. It's like LeBron, 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 Lakers, Lakers. Now what? Hey, now what? How about this? How about we give the Nuggets credits for running right through the Lakers? This is why I'm leading the show with the Nuggets. This series was about the Denver freaking Nuggets. Check that. The series was about the best Denver freaking Nuggets team of all time. The best Nuggets team of all time taking a step that the franchise had never taken before. And this series was about the best player in the world making it absolutely clear that he is the best player in the world. And the classiest. So, as Michael Malone would say, Car Flag Nation, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell to be the first to know when we do upload a new video.